Hi, Luis from Specify here. So today we'll see how to synchronize tokens from Token Studio to uh, your Git repository as CSS custom properties. So the tokens I have here are actually the one that Token Studio provides by default. And the first thing I want to do is to synchronize these tokens from Token Studio to GitHub. And then we will synchronize them from our GitHub repository to specify. So let's head over to the settings and add GitHub as a new sync provider. And let's name this connection as Token Studio. And then we need a personal access token so that Token Studio has the correct uh, access right to write a file containing our tokens in my GitHub repository. So we go to settings, developer settings, personal access token, classic, and then we generate a new token. We name this token token studio and then we set it. And this is really important. We have to check this. Otherwise, uh, well, token studio will not have the permission to write anything on our GitHub repository. So we generate this token and then we go back to token studio. We passed it and then we need to say to token studio uh, the name of our uh, GitHub repository and where and its owner. So on GitHub, the owner is in this page. Well, this, this repository is called design system and the owner is called Dogechain. So Dogechain slash design system. Perfect. Uh, we want Token Studio to create uh, the file on the main branch and we want the file to be named tokens.json. Perfect, we save. And uh, yeah, let's call this first commit. Perfect, so now if we go back to our GitHub repository, we can see that we now have this file containing our design tokens. And now we need to synchronize these tokens from GitHub to specify. So here in specify, I've created a new uh, Actually, let's create it again. So when you create a repository, please make sure to uh, make sure to um, to set it for Figma variables in Token Studio, and you must have access to the beta as well. So you create a repository, and when you create it, obviously it's empty at the beginning. So you have to create a source, and here we set the source as a remote URL. And our registry is private. And um, well, this source must be named, I don't know, GitHub Token Studio. And we need the uh, URL of our JSON file. So I don't really know by heart this URL, but uh, we have a documentation. So um, here in our documentation in the token studio page you can see that we have this so let's copy this url and we have to customize it with the same information so here it's dojain the repo is name design system and the file is called tokens.json Continue here as we are using GitHub. We need to uh, provide specify a personal access token to read the content of our GitHub repository. So, as you might have guessed, well, we need to go to GitHub and create a new GitHub uh, personal access token, exactly that, uh, what we did with Token Studio. So, we head over again to the developer settings personal access token, tokens classic, we generate a new one, and this time we call it specify, and we give it the same permissions. We generate it, and we go back to specify, and then, yeah, we make sure that the format of our tokens are the one of uh, Token Studio, and we are good to go. So now we have a source in specify, that uh, yeah, 
was able to collect total tokens from our GitHub registry. And now we can request tokens from Specify to our local directory, uh, thanks to the Specify CLI. So here, uh, let's say this is your GitHub, uh, your Git repository locally. And here I have a specified configuration file. So um, you can find this, an example of this specified configuration file on our documentation as well. So if you go on the documentation, you will see a CLI and in the CLI, well, you have an example of a configuration. So um, I already have uh, I already have something set up, and here. So the repository is called Design System. It's in the Acme Inc. organization, as you can see. As you can see here, the organization specified Acme Inc. My repository is called Design System. I need a personal access token, so I go back to specify. I go to personal access token and I name it CLI. I copy it. I set it here. And then I have a rule and this rule will, uh, well, use the two CSS custom properties parser and we should be good to go. And now we do specify pool. You're not authorized to get to access this repository. Okay, good to go. Um, and now, as you can see, we have, well, all of our tokens that have been transformed as CSS custom properties and all of their corresponding uh, aliases. Thanks for watching.